Hi, and welcome to this Xylos Cloud Chat. My name is Geert Bake. And I'm Jordi Reussens. And today we're going to talk about the Microsoft Azure Store Simple solution. So, Jordi, what is Store Simple? Store Simple is an integrated hybrid cloud storage solution. Like other traditional storage solutions, it offers data tiering, inline DDoP, compression, and encryption. Unlike the storage solutions, it has an elastic tier to the cloud, in this case Microsoft Azure, and it offers you an iSCSI target and a file server. Okay, so when you're saying it offers uh, iSCSI storage, block storage, and it acts as a normal file server, with a cloud tier, do we have to think wide area file server solution? Or? No, no, that is not the case. Okay. Uh, this is a free solution. WAF systems are more expensive and more complex. So, can any customer with an Azure subscription just start using this solution? At this time, you need an enterprise agreement. When you have an enterprise agreement, you can download the virtual appliance. And on top of that, when you do an upfront commitment with Azure of several thousand euros, then you get a physical appliance. Okay, let's talk use cases. Why would a customer start using this solution? You can use it as a file server, for example. Your hot data will be cached locally and your cold data will be tiered to the cloud automatically. Okay. You can use it as an iSCSI target for your not too demanding SQL server, for example. In that case, you have to use a locally pinned volume to make sure your data remains locally on the box. You can use it to offload your unused data from your expensive sense solution. In that case, you move away your cold data to the cloud. And of course, the cloud is a lot cheaper. Okay, when you're saying uh, cloud storage is a lot cheaper, I see potentially a use case for storing my backup data in the cloud using this device. No, in general, that's not a good idea, but there are, of course, some exceptions. Okay, so I know there are a lot of features here, but what are the main features of the Store Simple solution? The most important feature is the automatic tiering to the cloud. It's a hybrid cloud solution with a big amount of data stored locally, but the rest will be offloaded to the cloud. It's a Windows file server and you have the Windows file services and everything you might expect from it. And that makes it transparent to the end user. We do deduplication to reduce the amount of storage and what remains will be backed up to the cloud using snapshots. And finally, we have three flavors. We have the high-end models, which are physical boxes that can be hosted in your own data center. We have cloud appliances, which are located in the Azure data center. The 8010 will be stored on standard storage and the 8020 will be stored on premium SSD storage. And finally, we have the virtual appliance, which can be stored on your existing virtual infrastructure. Okay, I've heard that this one is fairly new. Is there anything specific I need to know about this virtual appliance? There is a limit on 30 simultaneous SMB connections because it's running Windows Server Foundation in the background. Okay, so there are many components here. I feel some kind of architecture slide is in order. Guess what? We have a single store simple manager which is running on Microsoft Azure and that component is the management to all your appliances. The appliances running on premises, your physical appliance and your virtual appliance and your cloud appliance which is running on Microsoft Azure. Okay, do you always need this cloud appliance for the solution to work? I mean, when the when the tiering is happening to the cloud, it's, it's done through this cloud appliance or how does it work? No, of course not. Um, the cloud appliance is only being used for disaster recovery purposes. The data is always stored on the storage blobs in Microsoft Azure and you only have to reconnect the storage blobs to the cloud appliance. Okay. Uh, I'm also seeing a connection between the on-prem data center and, and the cloud. It says HTTPS. Do you need a VPN tunnel for this connection? No, you don't need a VPN tunnel. You can just use an HTTPS connection over the public internet. Okay. I'm eager to know more about how it works. Can you show us some of the basics? Of course. As you can see, I logged into Microsoft Azure already. Here you can see our store simple manager that I deployed earlier. As you can see, we are consuming 112 gigabytes on our on-premises virtual appliance. 
and we have 90 gigabytes already stored in Azure. If we go to the device tab, then we get an overview of our appliances. And here you can see our on-premises virtual appliance. So let's click on our device. And this device is configured in file share mode, right? Yes, exactly. If we go to the share step, then you can see we've already deployed the archive share. The backup is set auto enabled. And if we go to the configuration, we see some general configuration parameters. This is the backup schedule. It makes a snapshot every day at 10.30. So set it and forget it. Yeah, and this only transfers the change data and it's deduplicated yeah. and compressed. Of course, only the change data. Right. So here we are on our device and we can see our share archive. From a user perspective, it's very easy to restore files. The files are just located in a subfolder called .backups. And here you can see several versions and users just have to click the file they're missing. So this is for a virtual device. Uh, are the configuration settings the same for a physical appliance? Uh, no, a physical one is more advanced and has more features, but I'll show you. Here we have our physical device and we have a backup policy step that we didn't have on our virtual appliance. If we go to the backup policies, we have multiple policies and each policy contains several schedules. As you can see, we have much more options than in our virtual appliance. Another feature that is only on the physical device is the bandwidth throttling. This is configured in our store simple manager. In the configuration, we can create another bandwidth template. So let's edit our bandwidth template. As you can see, we have different bandwidth rates out and during business hours. So, if you want a cost-effective and transparent cloud storage solution for your end users that automatically tiers storage to the cloud, be sure to check out StoreSimple. That's it for now. Bye-bye.